Hey, my honey. So today we are going to get into that Mrs. Claus slayage, how we dyed this hair from 613 to gray. So stay tuned, my honeys, and keep watching. Okay, my honeys, we are at the sink. And I'm just going to use the sink today because I don't have one of those clear things or whatever. And I think that'd be mainly for the purpose of you guys seeing it. But also, I think when you're dealing with like any dyes or whatever like that, you really want to use a plastic container but um watercolor and it's so quick that by the time we put the water we're gonna run hot water is what we're gonna do by the time we put the hot water in there and dip that hair it's already changing so we're not gonna let that bother us today this that tar hair my honey i always use this hair it come in three rows they got three different lengths this will be the longest length i know for sure i'm using these two I'm gonna fill the sink up with some water. I'm gonna dip the hair. You want hot water? My water in my sink gets pretty hot, mine. This is how this hair came. It's a body wave. But we really don't care about the wave. And then it needs some pluggage. But anywho, I'm just snatching that off. Now what I'm noticing is these are two different colored blondes. You probably cannot tell on this camera. This blonde is kind of more brassier than this one. This one is more whiter. This one will be ready, set, go to color instantly. But this one got that brassiness in it. You may not get your desired color. This one needs to be washed with that shampoo just to even kind of bring out that brassiness and give me more of a tone look like this one. Shimmer Lights is a toning shampoo, so it actually gets into the hair. It opens up those deposits, however, and then it tones that hair down, okay? So it's not a developer, and it's not um, a coloring, but it's all, and it's not a bleach, but it has those components in there, honey, that will definitely do the thing, okay? So it's not just like a regular shampoo. is not so bright. It took every piece of blonde up out of their mind. This is toned. And everything looks the same. This is still pretty much lighter than that, but this was already lighter from the get-go, remember? We probably could at least let this sit or at least left these alone. But it's cool. We ain't gonna let that bother. Cause whatever color come out my knees, I don't care. It's getting warmer. So we're about to turn this into gray, hot water.
and we pretty much done with that. I still see some light blonde spots in there, but I'm not going to let that bother me. Because I may want that to shine through. That's fine. I need this to get up there with that yet. That's looking a little bit too light. So what I'm going to do is take these out and add the rest of my bottom. Okay, my honey, so to me, this is pretty bluish. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got like a bluish undertone. So we're going to just go ahead and wash the whole thing, get that, uh, that blue out of it. This is a toning shampoo, my honey, so it definitely lightens up a color, okay? If you ever wanted to color some dark bundles, dark bundle to blonde, you can use this to even kind of lift it just a little bit so that it will make your bleaching process easier. This had a blue undertone. It is completely gray now. It took that blue out of there. This is our actual tar hair that we're using. It's lighter than that. Now the hair was wet, so it was darker wet. So I ain't gonna go overboard because of what I'm gonna do is blow dry it and just see if it's compatible with that color to the shorter hair. You see how the roots is brightening back up because of blonde. I don't want that. Okay, my honey, so this was not dark enough, and I have, um, look at this funnel. That is gray. It's so gray, it's almost blue-gray. And these were so light. Look how light gray that is compared to that. I'm going to add four drops of this black. Look how gray that got. Now that's gray. That looks like the it looks like the front of them. Yeah. Ain't nothing to play with, but look what we have, my hunties. Mrs. Claus is in the building. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, yes, we went through all the trials and tribulations to get this color, which wasn't that bad. Okay, gray is gray. Everything came together. And guess what, my honeys? If you are not subscribed, now is the time to do so because you do not want to miss what we have going on here in Kale's Nation, okay? I give it to you, nice, raw, dirty, and uncut. So we have a video coming, um, I don't know if it will be before this one or after this one, but it's, it's just uh, go aside with each other, me actually doing the style. So in that video, my honeys, I talk mostly about the gelling process, the molding process, I don't know why. But it all comes together, and um, you see, I love my little earrings. I had to throw my sass in there, because that's just me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so um, make sure you stay tuned and watch the other video that we have on this look. Okay, this is just the coloring of it, that water method. 
and you guys know for my short quick weeks i love 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 my waves on the side so there you go that's my signature and at this point in the video <laughs> i will see my honeys on the next one uh, 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 the next one uh, 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 uh. bye guys love you guys Mwah.